was uh, founded by Nabi himself that has been heavy in this. We have Aura, uh, that is, uh, the, I think, the home of enjoyments right now. And then we have Hennessy. Uh, I haven't drunk Hennessy since morning. <laughs> they need to give us something. And then, of course, Pepsi, uh, which has been a supporter of yours for a while. And then, obviously, NBS, that at this point, I think, you just need to start working at NBS or have an office there because not only are you part of the course and itself the 20 years and then of course Uganda Wildlife Authority this is very important because Uganda Wildlife Authority has actually been very heavily involved in this situation giving us access to so many different areas in the country and of course protection and then we have the gentlemen uh, from Mobicast that have been helping us to promote this entire project out there so I don't want to waste a lot more time. Let's get into it right now. Uh, before I get in touch with you, Navio, about details, first of all, help us welcome us to your world right now. An introduction from you. There's a microphone in front of you. Let's have the word from you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Peter <laughs> um, I go by the name of Navio, uh, Daniel Chikosi for those who know me. Um, grew up here uh, in Kampala, you know. Um, I want to thank all of you guys first of all for making it down here uh, and being a part of the project. Um, I want to thank all the amazing people up here as well for being involved. Um, there were so many different crews working on so many different, different aspects uh, of it. Of course, you've seen what we've done as far as the video production, uh, but there was a huge interest in what we were doing as far as the music as well. Um, so I want to send a big shout out to everyone who was involved in the music side, which is what we're celebrating here today, um, alongside uh, a celebration of the show for this season and, 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 and what it's meant to so many people out there. Uh, when we started off the project, we wanted to do something that was fun. We found that we were going to places, and as an artist, you do 100, 150 shows a year. A lot of those are out of, outside of Kampala. And we're like, what happens when we take people along with us? See the vision, you know, like, you, you, you know, we'll be there standing on top of a rock, you know, somewhere in, in Tororo, and we'll be like, wow, look at that view. And it's only three of us there. There's only so many people you can capture. So I feel like the amplification that has happened through an NBS, for example, is so great because now when we turn around and we say, look at that sunset, look at that, you know, look at that Wadi right now, you know, check out these fruits and these foods, the things we talk about and we want the rest of Uganda to know about. Um, at least now we have a way to get that into some of these foods, the things we talk about and we want the rest of Uganda to know about. Um, at least now we have a way to get that into people's living rooms. So that's a beautiful thing. But also remember, apart from the eyes and what you're seeing, there is the ear, the different languages that people are speaking. You know, I have friends that I grew up with who have literally only been to Entebbe and back. And they're rich, by the way. <laughs> they, they really have no excuse. You know, like barrels, the barrels of this world. Um, so I thought it was some, you know, uh, people in our, um, I won't say age range, because then you'll ask questions. But, um, some, you know, there are people in a certain bracket who don't move and don't travel. They feel like it's not cool or it's not something they should do, you know, and, uh, and, and they, they don't find time for it in their schedule. And I think that's another thing we wanted to change the narrative on, was that we can be Uganda and you can be urban. There's no way you should be going to Dubai before Morocco. There's no way you should be, you know, going to, uh, you know, traveling the world before you know what's right under your nose and the beauty that you can have and the, and, and the substance and the, you know, domestic tourism destinations you can go to that are right under your nose. So, as well, that, you know, hearing the music, that aspect of it, we decided to really give that its fair attention. Every episode finishes where we blend with, whether it's a local choir, whether it's uh, a, an old man that has a singing voice, you know, um, whether it's, you know, children in a school. We end every episode using the sights and sounds of what we've seen 
We're not going to manage to capture all of it. We're not going to manage to capture all the beauty of it, but we can capture at least some of it and record it and put it down, you know, for our people to know about, you know, throughout the country. We need to learn about each other. I think that's the most important thing. So, yeah, let me leave it there for now. Yeah. Thank you guys all again. Uh, big up to uh, Hennessy who's come along for the journey. Big up to Pepsi. Big up Aura, Ua. And of course, uh, goes without saying, NBS, 8 p.m. every Thursday. We yeah. are together. <laughs> yes. Now your next project, so yeah, Great. give it to you. Now, if you are on social media, use the hashtag NavioXProject, and uh, we have another hashtag, which is NavioXAlbum. All right, so please use those two hashtags so we can be able to have traffic for those who want to see what is happening here. I want to thank each and every single person of the different media companies that are here, and also, obviously, our social media influencers that are very happy in promoting this message of Ugandan tourism. Now, let's get into the music. You choose to go with one, some of my favorite sound engineers uh, in Africa, not just here in Uganda, uh, Mr. Baru and Avasa, uh, who are amazing. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with Baru, this is the shy one. Uh, <laughs> uh, how are amazing. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with Baru, this is the shy one. Uh, <laughs> uh, have, have you ever traveled the whole of Uganda the way you have? Baby. Um, not before the project. Not before the project. So it's with the project that you managed to get the experience. Yeah, there are more opportunities yeah, for traveling to yeah. the project as well. Great. But um, we managed to go to everywhere. There's no Ugandan queen. There's no culture where they interact that we So it's been a bit crazy opportunity to capture these sounds and uh, turn them into something. What's the difference between capturing sounds in studio and being in the wild of Uganda? Like, because <laughs> I know you capture bottle tops, I've seen you capture, you know, all sorts of things, but then you are now doing this, I mean, you're capturing the waterfalls and all that, how does it feel? Um, you feel more connected to nature, to people, to sort of spiritual, like to a deeper level. Yeah. Because we are capturing um, these sounds in their purest form. Yeah. And um, transforming them into something that is, that is accessible. Mm -hmm. So, me personally, it's a, it's a crazy experience, yeah. great opportunity. Yeah. On this album, Abbas, I have to ask you, um, on this album that you have, because you've often a few, not a, not a few, but very many albums, uh, first of all, you're going to introduce us and tell us what position you're holding currently at Swan. So it's very important. Uh, because I want these people to understand that this project has actually been one that, you know, Navio took time to understand that I need to get the perfect of all this. What is the difficulty in matching those sounds and making it sound, uh, you know, stream worthy, uh, stuff that can be consumed, basically, since this is also something that is in the media? What was that experience like for you? I, I think that was the main challenge. Was yeah, the way Barbara said it's pretty it's pretty straightforward to just go and record a bunch of people playing drums, right? Um, but to transform it into a three minute piece that fits within what Navio is able to work with and that expresses his identity but also expresses the identity of the culture that we visited. Um, and, and also the stories like we I think we would go there like a day or two prior. Um, and just sit with the guys. Oh, so you go a day before uh, to get, you know, just be there. <laughs> yeah, and tap in the culture. Yeah, so I think by the time these guys would arrive, uh, it would be a, a clean slate. Okay. Like, we would have to go, and um, I think in Morojo we had uh, we had to take the there was a group of old guys, yeah. just like grey hair people, and they're like, we have to buy us. Um, you have, to, you have to buy them alcohol, comes in like buckets, right? okay. and then snap. They think they discuss, and then That's their like, electricity. This is like two days before he comes, and then okay. we have to like interact with them, and then they accept us, and they start telling stories. Wow. And then we set up mics. Um, so I think that by the time Danny arrives, we already kind of figured out what is the, what's the story that we want to tell mm -hmm. in this region. Mm -hmm. And then going forward, it's like how do we translate that into a message that he understands, yeah. but a message that would also translate on Spotify or yeah. any other, like a YouTube or even on NBS. Like yeah. The visual team really did a great job. I, um, I truly appreciate that as well. Yeah. Great. 
Awesome. Uh, your position? Uh, sorry. <laughs> you, you, like, you can't hide. Yeah. yeah. Um, currently, I'm the head of record label at Swamp Davidian. Okay. Um, uh, do we have any musicians here? Laba. <laughs> NBS, and I'm going to talk to Derek Popo, who is there. So, your company is younger than W's music. I went to present this uh, to the entire team. They sat around, and after about 47 seconds, they started looking at each other. Okay. <laughs> they, they communicate without even communicating. That's my team. Yes. And then, you know, he just said, Thursdays at 8. And Ken was like, yeah, I think so. Deal done. You know, um, and you can imagine, uh, we came together to do this without any sponsor, without any backing, no government backing. Really just uh, found a brand that wanted to push the tourism agenda. You know, uh, we have that explore the, the four pillars. Love Uganda, um, uh, explore Uganda, hope and uh, yeah. Absolutely. So with those pillars and the show, I think it just makes perfect sense. So awesome. I want to thank them for making the decision. <laughs> within, uh, within four minutes, yeah. it was really gut wrenching. But yeah. Yeah. I think you should uh, give yourself more credit. It's easier for people to make decisions with you in the boardroom. Um, we've got a gentleman called Tom the Big Mayanja, and I think this project has been very interesting because it is musical creation. Uh, meeting cultural exploration and I think Tom the big story comes in from the world of uh, cultural exploration uh, and he has explored this country uh, first of all just from here Kampala alone he has been able to see the depths of uh, what Uganda has to offer so I want to know from you Tom uh, he is Mr. Skiza Uganda <laughs> You are. You have been doing this for before I actually. I don't know. I don't know how to say this without making you laugh like that. But I'm hoping you can take this serious. Tom, sorry, the myth. Uh, Jinja, Moroto, Karamoja, Porto, Gulu, Kabale, Kapchora, Butaleja, Mbali. Why Butaleja turning out to be your favorite of all these places? Yet I know for sure places like Jinja excite you. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming through. Um, for me, Puta Leja is, is home. That's where my mother is from. Uh, she's a Munyone. So going there, seeing my grandmother, we actually first got lost. These people were not listening to me and they took, they thought they knew where my church was <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, we, we first got lost, but then Puta Leja is where my grandmother, where my grandmother is, where my mother is from. So it was great going home, you know, just, I've known Navio for forever, our families have known each other forever, but he had not um, come to that side of, of, of my family, you know, so it was, it was great for me taking Baru, Navio, Flex, just the whole team, everyone who's here, taking them to, you know, to home, <laughs> you know, there they, they are no hotels that side, there's nothing fancy, we were in the house. Walk, uh, in the houses with, with, with my grandmother, with my, with my uncles, my aunties, the people who raised me, you know. So it was it was great having that. They fancy we were in the house, walk, uh, in the houses with, with, with my grandmother, with my, with my uncles, my aunties, the people who raised me, you know. So it was it was great having that. They got to experience. I mean, in in the morning, I let, I let them go check out the rice farms and, and all that. Um, they got to experience that. We got to experience. We went to the school where I think it was open two years after. My grandfather went to it two years after it was open. You know, he studied there. He um, taught there. You know, we, we lost him, but you know, he, he's, he's still such an important pillar in in the community. So it was it, for me. It was just great having these guys come experience that with me and yeah. Heating home has never felt the same. Bra, yeah. <laughs> I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, <laughs> I would love to ask you more um, just before we get to Mami Chiba, and this is basically on the musical side of it. Uh, his choice of doing this is something that you guys have done, first of all, as 
clear cut. You've done this before. You've always had this thing, but I think you, more than anyone else, has been really messing more with the cultural stuff. Yeah. Uh, Nabio has done a lot as well on that same world, but I think you've been really messing a lot. You have a whole album called The Ugandan. You've been really I'm so UG for all this time. So meshing with this and creating an album out of this, uh, of what importance do you think it is to what you started and to where it is today? today? So, just so you know, we, as, when you say we, it's clear cut. We started with Percussion Discussion Africa. We did an album with them, Clear Discussion, that got nominated for the chorus and, and took us around around the world, you know, just traveling and so 2019, yeah. You are lying. Not when we were young, guys. It was 1998. <laughs> what? <laughs> 2019. Yeah. <laughs> it was in 2005. No, no, no. I was, it was like 910. Yeah. It was 910. We're back. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, we traveled, got nominated for the Cora Awards and everything. And, um, you know, so it's something that we, we have been passionate about because, you know, identity, the fact that you, we've been fortunate enough to travel uh, and see different places, it's important to come back and, you know, when you go out there and say, oh, I am Uganda. You know, people joke about the Kenyans with their, with their bracelets, say, have they given that at birth? Yeah. You know, but it's, it's an identity. You are from this place, you are this person, you, you represent this. and with music and culture and food and language and traditional attire and everything, it's it's a nice way for us to be billboards for for the country, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. So it's something important to us. Doing the music, like Abbas said, these guys will go ahead of us that these these songs that that you have on this album are just the tip of yeah. something bigger okay. you know there's so much more music we created there's so much more there's so many more songs that are there you know we, we learned a lot it's such a great experience and you know even if guys even if you don't want to i mean you'd rather go somewhere else out my advice is just go check out um even if even if you just go to to ginger which yeah. is as i like yeah. go to ginger and also try and experience the cultural side of it it's such a uh, enlightening experience. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Okay. Great. Uh, Mr. Shimba, I think with Next Media as a whole, uh, one of the things that...